Okay, today I want to show you how to build a preset using the blocks library. This is a really, really handy feature that I would liken to, you know, in the real world, if you've got an amplifier that you know how to dial in and you mark the settings on the amp and try to leave it there all the time, or you have, you know, an effects pedal that has presets or something like that, and you always use a particular preset or you mark the settings on there and you build a rig out of it, that is really, really easy to do in the real world. And we can do a very similar thing in AX8 Edit. So most of the time, you know, when you make a preset, you'll connect the grid up and you might hit, you know, you go, okay, cool, I'm going to start with an amp. And it just brings up like a generic amp model with stock settings. And rather than like sort of cycle through all the different amp models, you might have a favorite that you can save. So if you want to save a particular setting, you know, I'm not super fond of these settings here, but you know, I'll go through and pick an app that I really like, in this case, the Atomica High, which I like basically just turning the bass mid uh, and a little bit more treble up on that and using one of my cabinet IRs that I've made. I'll bring this one up. As you can see, I've got a lot of third-party cabs there. So uh, this one here, this blend number one. Uh, I really like the way this sounds. Uh, you know, I need to set the low cut and then it sounds like this. So what I can do is that if I want to dial this up really quickly, I can save these settings. So I'll hit right click, I'll go library and save. And I can save this, for example, as like, uh, you know, LT fave cab. Let's call it that one. And same with the amp. I might right click it and then go library, save. I'll call it like LT Atomica Fave. Okay, I can do the same thing with drive pedals and delay pedals and all those kind of things and it will save them for later. So if I go to a totally new preset, for example, and I'm too lazy to change those knobs or if I can't remember where I do them, I can do this. I can right click, I can go to library, recall, and that's probably cut off at the top. So that's no good. I'll just move this down a little bit, one second. So right click, I'll go library, recall, amp, and you can see here, I should have one called LT Atomica Fave or something like that. There it is right at the bottom. Click that, do the same thing with the cabinet, which is pretty cool. Recall, cab, there's my favorite cab. Sorry if that's off screen. Let's drag this over and then I've got exactly the same setup again. <laughs> This is obviously really handy for building presets quickly. The other thing as well is say you've got an amp, you know, I've got an amp block dialed up and I want to just change to a different favorite. I can use this blocks library feature down here and select my favorites, you know, select other blocks. Uh, and this is block specific. So when you're in the cab block, this will only bring up cab. So that's also a little bit uh, easier to navigate. The thing that I like as well is, you know, if there's a, say an amp setting or a delay setting or a drive setting from another preset and I want to just bring over that setting rather than the whole preset. I can save it as one of my favorites and just drag it over. So uh, I'll give you an idea. For example, if I select delay, I have lots and lots of delay blocks. A lot of these are put up by a uh, uh, Simon Harris. If you check out his stuff, uh, it's really, really good. But you know, I have uh, in here, say this one, Dion lead, uh, which is one of my favorite lead settings. I'll just smack that in and then I've instantly got a great sounding lead delay. <laughs> One of my favorites is using a drive block to pre-boost an amp and uh, right down the bottom here, you can see in the blocks library, this workhorse setting, I really, really like that. So I often, when I'm building presets, I just kind of chuck that one straight in uh, as my main drive block. Sounds like this. <laughs> And that makes it really easy to build presets quickly in AX8 Edit. I can sort of poach my favorite effect settings or I can share them with other users or you bring other people's settings in and basically build presets really, really quickly. What I'll normally do, for example, is if I'm playing around with a new amp model, like, you know, I might go, let's just pick a random amp model, say another Cameron, CCV 2D, sounds like this. <laughs> And I'd like that and I go, well, you know what I'm going to do? Let's turn this uh, gate up a little bit because that is making a bit of noise. Uh, 
what I can do there, which is really cool, I go, okay, cool, I've got an amp model that I really like, the tone's happening, and I go, I want to create a preset that I can gig with. I have block libraries of all my main presets. Say, for example, there's a lead delay, I can add a rotary block, and I can just bring up my favorite rotary, I can add a wah pedal uh, in the wah section, you know, I've got a couple of different blocks saved here, I like this Cantrell wah, I really like uh, sort of match it to the Jerry Cantrell Dunlop wire settings, and it's immediately got the modifier settings that I need as well. Uh, and basically, there's a gigging preset now. It took me less than 30 seconds to add all the things that I need that I know I always use, uh, and I might just want to tweak out a new amp block or a new cab block or something like that. So that's how I use the librarian feature in the AX8 on AX8 Edit. I find it super duper handy for making new presets. Uh, or for, you know, if I download somebody else's preset and I'm checking it out or there's a stock factory preset that I really like a particular part of, I'll just save them to my library and then I can call on them anytime I like. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment. Let me know if this has helped you and hit the subscribe button. I'll see you soon.